Now, remember when we met parallel lines? Parallel lines point in the same direction. And the slope of a line tells us what direction a line points in. We would expect to see, then, that parallel lines are lines with the same slope. And in fact, that is what we see. Here is a line. And here is the triangle that we could use to say that the slope of this line is 2. When we move one unit to the right, we go up 2 units. Remember that we said that one way we can get a parallel line is by translating our given line. I'm going to make a copy of this line and translate it to go through the point that I marked. What do we see? We see that that triangle we used to find the slope just comes with the line. When we translate a line, we also translate the triangle that we used to find the slope. In other words, there's a congruent triangle on the new line, and therefore the slope is going to be the same. If two lines are parallel, we know that they have the same slope. Now on the other hand, this is a little bit odd. If we know that two lines have the same slope, they might be parallel, or they might actually be the same line. Let's see a picture of how that might happen geometrically. Here are two lines. By drawing triangles, we see this line has a slope of negative a half. This line also has a slope of negative a half. But it turns out, if we just extend these lines, which we can do because lines extend infinitely in both directions, we see that these are just different parts of the same line. Later on, as we get more complicated descriptions of lines, we'll see other ways that we could have the same line and not necessarily know it. If two lines have the same slope, they could be the same line, or they could be parallel.